watcher. Wasn't it swinging away at the start of its cycle last time? I guess it doesn't matter much. Let's just wait until it swings away again and bust on out. Not fast enough. Still not. Okay, we're gonna have to bust out and then shut the door, obviously. Now, if I remember right, the guard has gone down this hall and he'll be on his way back. Did he go all the way down the stairs? Yes, he did. Or not. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Okay. Well, let's rush the secret passage and try to get him somewhere else. I want to get that purse now before I lose track of him and he wanders off somewhere totally unrelated, you know? But I may be too late for that. Let's hope not. Oh good, I got ahead of him. That's half the battle. Skadoosh. What was that noise? What Oops. was that? Just lean forward and grab it. <sighs> ah! Oh, if the door's open, he's gonna come check it out. Fudge. <clears throat> Okay, a new plan forms again, we'll creep up on him, oh, this time he doesn't want to come in, it seems completely freaking random to me viewers, that's the only answer I can think of. Seriously, he only comes in if I commit to grabbing it. Okay, good. Got it. That's our sixth, sixth of nine pickpockets. Brings our total up to 1845. Oh, thank goodness. What a pain. How many secrets have I found? Five. Five secrets, six pickpockets. It's hard to keep track of, but... So we've been through the trophy room and dining room. We haven't really properly looted them yet, so I'll get to that. Here's another security booth. Just one pair of coins to get in here. Worth 20, bring our total to 1865. Over here, down behind the couch, another pair of coins, another 20, bring our total to 1885. Now inside the trophy room, first things first, if you look up at the ceiling, you can find a switch. Opens a passage directly to the dining room, which is redundant since we have the long passage, but it's the sixth of nine secrets. I need to find the switch again and close that bad boy up. There we go. 
Inside the trophy room, you've got two more pairs of coins over here on the corner table. Still 20 each. They bring our total to 1925. And if I can get Garrett around the chair and back into the passage. Reclose those. Head into the dining room itself. Out here. Now this is weird. I think there was supposed to be a corner table here, but they just forgot. Floating in the air. Yep. Two more pairs of coins. 20 each. Bring our total to 1965. And we move ever onward. I think this is a very bad exit because of a watcher right there. But actually it might be our best option. If I can just move fast enough. Might be my only option, actually. For getting into that guard area. Just have to find the sweet moment when I can run before it turns back. Yes! That's what you want. Let's keep mapping things out. On this sill, there's a pair of coins worth 20, bring our total to 1985. And with that, I believe I have mapped out half of the mansion. Good, good, good. Now I have to deal with the offices. Well, the first of the offices. So I thought I could rope through the window. But I can't. Well, I, I might have time in this mission. Definitely have to shut off the Watcher when you're uh, back here in masks. Because you don't have time to pick the lock. Not even close. But I may be able to get in and out of that door this time. Have to let that patroller... Open up some open up some distance. And I once again I have to find the sweet moment. I have to run as soon as possible without going too soon. Beautiful. So that's done. So two wandering persons to watch out for. Okay, let's pop out and get the door open. Pop back in. Too slow. And run across. Now we'll pop out again to get that door closed. Too slow. I tell you, it's trouble. It's trouble. Well, I can loop back in and close that door from behind, which is actually probably easier anyway. So I'll just do that. So, in this office, on the desk, there are two pairs of coins, 20 each, bring our total to 2,025. That's it for in here. Now let me show you what I meant, because I'm definitely able to get out the window. Oh, well, maybe I'm not. I could have sworn I had done it before. Okay. Well, maybe they do mean to force you to turn off the watchers one way or another. Who knows. But, regardless of their intentions... What I need to do now is pretty straightforward. I need to get that door closed without getting spotted. Always, always a tall order. Close that door behind me. Get back to the secret tunnel. Close that. 
then I think what I would like to do is just cross the ballroom and sweep the bottom half of the floor from there. So I'm going to head out the trophy room door. Does he? No, I already bagged his. There's still two more wandering purses for me to worry about. Plus one in the foyer. So, let's just take the high road again. That seems easiest. We can just shimmy up here. Head over to the opposite balcony. Actually, let's let's go this way first. Slide down onto this walkway. Hope the texture brush fixes itself before I get anywhere too sensitive. Okay. I think I'm at six secrets and six pickpockets. Is that right? Help me out, folks. Okay, yeah, that happened again. Ah! I had that I had that happen on my practice run too. The turret is set to off, but the or the camera is set to off for whatever reason. But the turret is on. And I'll just tell you right now, if the turret is on, you have zero chance of getting through there without being spotted. Hold on, hold on, let me try one thing first. Yeah, we're gonna have to turn off the turret. The good news, of course, is that the watcher is already off. Which means that getting into that office will be easier. Yes, yeah, so let's turn the turret off. That should make things much simpler. What do I see? Hold! Okay. He does not have one of my purses. Which is unfortunate, to say the least. Oh, he's. Stop it! What? They'll come check it out if they see an open door. I keep forgetting that. Instead, let's lean into the door and listen until we hear him leave. I only have one more wandering purse to find. What do I see there? Nope, he's just patrolling in here. Okay, that's good to know. Maybe I can beat him into the office. Okay, that's good, that's good. All that's in here, there's one pair of coins on the desk, worth another 20, bring our total to 2,045. And over here, between the chair and the end table, or whatever you want to call it, another pair of coins, bring our total to 2,065. Awesome. And head right back across this hall. Inside this room, in the corner, there are three pairs of coins. Twenty each, bring our total to twenty-one twenty-five. Then, if you duck into the... I shouldn't have any more need to go out there, so... And go ahead and reactivate the turret, so... Everything is as I left found it. And he... 
here. I want to say... There's another long passage along the south wall. That's our seventh of nine secrets. Go ahead and tackle the library now. Open the door into the library. Don't be too alarmed by all the creepy noises. There is a ghost walking around that you have to be careful of. So now that I have a bead on where he is, I'll be better able to avoid him. So in here, there are five books we need to find. The first is here. My darling Lorna, I do not understand how your husband, my insufferable assistant, can treat you as he does. I swear I won't let him hit you again. I'll take you away from all this someday. Just have patience. There are few who can afford to keep such a library as my Lord Gervasius. It will take me time to find another patron such as he. Our nights together will be heavenly, your guiles. Alright, easy enough. There he is. I think he first alerted just then, which I definitely don't want, so let him get past. He's randomized. The truth is, I should just be more careful. Terrible secrets. Terrible secrets. She's not an AI that can alert, so... Here's one. Hitting that is the eighth of nine secrets. Either someone's hiding the evidence, or these guys got lost in ten feet of passage. So we found two corpses, and like I said, that book makes it eight out of nine secrets. We'll close that back. No problem. Now these. These books can be very hard to find. Here's the third one. My darling Giles, oh my love, I swear I will leave Ashton just as soon as you give me the word. But if we are to be together, then you know we cannot stay here. It will be impossible for you to work with Ashton after we marry, and more importantly, I don't trust him. He would never give us any peace. I don't want to start our new life together with such troubles. Oh, darling, promise me we won't. Your fragrant daisy, Lorna. Then the fourth one is in front of the bookcase, or the fireplace. My sweet Lorna, I have the best news. I've discovered that Lord Holanthrus, advisor to the Baron, has need of a new librarian. His library is selective, but is said to be one of the best in the city. I will speak of this to Lord Gervasius. He is a reasonable man and will give me my leave. Ashton is a capable librarian and will make a suitable replacement for me, which will appease Gervasius. Ashton will be happy with the promotion, and that will have to be his consolation when he finds out he is losing you, your guiles. On top of that, on this, uh table there are two pairs of coins 20 each bring our total to 2165 the last book is over on this windowsill Dearest Giles, your news is indeed wonderful. I treasure your letter as I do all that you send me. I must tell you I had a close call last night. I was preparing to read your letter when Ashton came into our rooms. I hopped into bed and hid the letter under my pillow. Thankfully, when I awoke in the morning, the letter was still there undisturbed. Soon we will be done with Ashton and the awful memories of this place. I will divorce him and then we will tell Gervasius of your new situation. I am so glad I believed in you. Your sweet pea, Lorna. So once you read the fifth book and you found the bodies, the ghost disappears, which is good. So down here in a 
the second window on the sill, there's another pair of coins worth 20, bring our total to 2185. And then, before I head upstairs, well, no, let's do this first. Let's head upstairs inside the library. Now there's nothing in here. Nothing up here. You have to read all five books because until you do, there's just a wall here. So two scrolls here. This, I think, this one I think is the Mechanist Correspondence. Lord Gervasius, I hope thou hast enjoyed the luxury and security which the Builder's children have brought thee. In such a cruel and uncaring world as this, true friends must aid each other. Tis my hope that I might consider thee such a friend and colleague. I look forward to attending thy reception for thy exhibition. Tis said thou hast one of the finest manners in the city, and I eagerly anticipate a chance to visit it. I am told thou hast most wondrous terrariums. It would please me greatly to see these in thy private exhibition rooms when I arrive. I know of what import thy collections are to thee, but it my hope that thou wouldst honor me with a gift, namely certain ancient masks and the cultivator artifact, twould of course be after the exhibition ends. These items are priceless, and twould be a great favor to me if thou wouldst part with them willingly. I assure thee that I will make it worth thy while, both through further mechanist gifts and through the gift of a certain painting by Durant, which I'm told thou hast been trying to acquire, Master Karras. Looks like I'll be able to get one of those cultivators when I come back. So on this table, there are two more pairs of coins, 20 each, bring our total to 2225. That gives us the optional objective to read the correspondence from the mechanists. I missed that we had our, what was that? That was our eighth secret, wasn't it? So we've got our seven and eight. So we got the find the secrets objective. What's this letter? My Lord Gervasius, it comes as a great shock to me to have to tell you that head librarian Giles and my wife, my dear Lorna, have run away together. I am beside myself with this loss. I cannot stay here. This place holds too many painful memories. I don't understand how my dear friend and my wonderful wife could do this to me. I have decided to take a position as a librarian with Lord Holanthrus. I want you to know that I have only the utmost esteem for my lord, but I cannot stay here with these memories haunting me so. Your lowly servant, Assistant Librarian Ashton. Ash, you are a bastard. So with that, we are done in the library. So now we can pop out this door over here in the northeast corner. Very quickly, place the cuckoo into this clock. Set it to noon. That is the ninth and final secret, and it's the door to the secret stairway, the objective. So we could leave now, we just have some more loot to find. That's nine out of nine secrets, by the way, if you're keeping track. You catch that? Hmm. What Here the he hell? Is. Someone get him! Help me! I'm just tracking my stats. Yes, all the secrets. Still have three picks to get. Only one wandering purse, which is good. Anyway, those two have a conversation that's worth listening to. Let's close the secret door. Uh, well, well, what's that over there? Why aren't they talking? Nothing there now. Maybe they only talk if you come at them from the other side. Anyway, that's the new librarian, and he just tries to convince the guard that the library is haunted. He mentions that he dropped uh, Lord Gervasius's letters in the M stacks and they disappeared, which you know tells you that you have to find out about the ghosts who were murdered in order to get the correspondence, but that's all done and done. We will just continue ever onward. Make a real save now. So we're, we're in the end game. The only thing I anticipate any trouble with is finding that last wandering pickpocket. That's always hard to do. In terms of loot, it's one thing I blew right past. There's a pair of coins on the ledge in here. 
worth another 20. Bring our total to 2245. Now this one is kind of interesting. Let me show it to you. Come up, you! I heard that. Is he the wandering pick? No. Ah! Not the wandering purse, but uh, we need to wait for him to be gone far away because there's a pair of coins right next to the turret. In fact, I may just need to shut off the watcher to get it. <laughs> Time for them to be recognized. That seems like a much more sensible option, doesn't it? I don't mind the supreme dust. Let's let Benny get clear. We'll get that. Uh, we'll get that coin, and then we'll reactivate the watcher. Pair of coins right next to the turret. Another 20 brings our total to 2265. I will now reactivate the watcher. So all is as I found it. And I'm gonna head back into the secret passage and continue up that way. Everything that's left, besides the wandering, bes well, besides purses, is in the bar. So, let's head into the bar. There are two coins on the bar itself. I can just find them. There they are. Two pairs, 20 each, bring our total to 2305. On the planter, two more, 20 each, bring our total to 2345. On the windowsill right here, Hello? two more. Oh, let's be quiet. If this guy's real trigger happy. He'll definitely first alert when we open the door. But two more coins, 20 each, bring our total to 2385. Let's open the door now. <clears throat> so we lean forward and get his purse. It's worth a hundred, brings our total to twenty-four eighty-five, and that's our seventh of nine pickpockets. The last two pieces of loot are well, the last two pickpockets are also the last two pieces of loot. And they are a purse in the foyer and another wandering purse so well that was a bad move wasn't it let's try heading back to the bar going out this way I have no idea where the other wandering purse is I mean it could be anywhere in the level so You'll have to indulge me as I run around for a while. What? Who's full alerted to me? Oh, I know what happened. He heard me step on the tile on my way through to the ballroom. Whew. That was unnerving. Hearing a second alert. There. Now 
he's calm and happy wherever he is. Alright, well. Roaming the mansion, looking for the other purse could take a while, especially because I actually don't have the option. Thought I heard something! Of just going crazy until I figure out where it is. I am at least going to shut off watchers. That should help. Okay, 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 I'm getting in too much of a hurry here. You know where it makes sense to check. As much as I hate it. Should go see if he got stuck in the kitchen like so many of his buddies. Probably where it is now that I think about it. The kitchen is like a guard trap in this mission. Must be something really delicious on that table. Or at least delicious smell. The way they're all congregating. That's not step two. The kitchen's on the ground level. What am I doing? Being lost and confused. That's what. I knew it was straight across from the storage room. It's just on the first floor, not the second. Can't a guy nap around here? Come out now, whoever oh. you are. Nope, he's by himself. Well, that's good, actually. That's really good. There it is! Spotted it. Good. Got a bead on it. That's all I ever want. Don't worry, we'll find a way to get to it. Knowing where it is, that's, I was about to say half the battle, but really it's all of the battle. It's all easy once I get that done. Of course, there's nowhere to hide here. Okay. Hopefully, he'll make his way down here. Let's leave that open. Nobody better be tougher. I'd rather not take that first alert since it's unnecessary. Still hear him getting closer. Yes! That's what we want. Come here. Oh, huh? Again, let's let's skip the first alert. 
<clears throat> All right. That is our eighth of nine pickpockets. Brings our total to 2585. That means the foyer is all that's left. There are a few ways we can get there. too soon, as I'm wont to do, do a real save. You can go up and map out the third floor in this mission if you want to, but there's nothing to find up there until we come back in masks. That's kind of pointless. I wonder if I can get by. Okay. As I thought. That hallway is off limits to us with the watchers still on. Thought I saw. <clears throat> All right, let's just wait for him to make his turn and get wherever he's going. good news for everybody if you're not a fan of chasing down wandering pickpockets and for the record I am not that's the last one in the entire game there are pockets to pick in masks but none of them are wandering they're all predictable which I like okay let's just Get down to the ground level. <gasps> Which I think we can use these partitions for without taking damage. <clears throat> or not. Okay, let's try this instead. Let's just land on the railing and then go to the ground floor. Beautiful. Now we will finally head for the foyer. We want to come in from one of the sides. We don't want to come straight in. Because the guard will be looking right at us. In the doorway. Sergeant Porter, it wouldst appear that I erred in judgment. Oh. Hello, Hobart. Why is that? Thou knowest how burdensome preparation of the mansion hath been for me. Steward Duma hath charged me with leading the construction in the ballroom, which goeth ever so. I wonder if I can get out during the conversation. Slowly. That would avoid the nudge. He hath even demanded that all the clocks and other mechanist devices in the manor be inspected and repaired if there be faults found. I doubt Thy it. masters wish everything perfect for their celebration two weeks hence. Twas such a great task that in my haste I have 
misplaced my toolbox, which contained a part from one of the clocks. So we have a clock that doesn't tell time. Won't be the first time in this place. I'm still amazed you got all the metal eyes working. No, thou dost not understand. Tis that clock. Hey, stop right there! Okay, yep. Thought maybe I could get out during the conversation. Sergeant Porter, oh. Hello, it would appear that Why I that? erred so in judgment. So we have a clock that doesn't tell time. Won't be the first time in this place. Uh-oh. I'm still amazed you got all the metal eyes working. No, thou dost not understand. Tis that clock. <laughs> well then, you better get looking and find that piece before Lord Gervasius gets back. He'll have your head otherwise. Good luck, Foreman Hobart. So he just stares at the front door, which, you know, makes him actually good at his job, unlike most guards in this game. He's got our ninth and final <coughs> pickpocket, brings our total to 2685, and we're just going to have to nudge him all the way out the front door. What they meant for you to do was break the windows on one of the upper floors and get out that way, but that, of course, would violate the ghost rules. And we can't have that, can we? <laughs> and nudge him as quickly as you can, and you'll have to push him all the way out the front door. I've never been able to move around him or take any shortcuts. <laughs> Which is a pain, but it is what it is. I'll be honest with you, I really, really don't like casing the joint. It's just... I don't know. They recycle the map <laughs> immediately for masks, but masks is more entertaining because it's more staffed, it's more of a challenge. I like casing the joint a little bit better than Trace the Courier, but not much. They're definitely twinned in my mind as the bottom two in this game. Okay, someone's Is coming. someone there? Wait for him to settle. Well, seems clear. Hey. There. Drinking. Taking a break. Listen carefully for footsteps. Because you can get nailed if people come through this room during the nudge. Time for them to be recognized. It's hard for me to care about first alerts from a person I'm nudging, but I do care about other ones. Excuse me, folks. Alright, let's just keep pushing. <coughs> Come on, bud. Do more idle animations. I like him. Yes, that's a good one. He always moves a lot when he does that one. Still not close enough to pick mm -hmm. the lock through him, which we ultimately end up doing, which I think is kind of hilarious.
Is that you? There's a good milestone. The door's open. Meet up later. Drinking. Taking a break. Almost got him out. This mission threw me for a loop the first time I played it because so often the escape objective means get back to where you started. If you do that in this mission, it's useless. I saw something. Let's hope he only first alerts. <coughs> Good. Same with the dude on the second floor. <coughs> All right, good. Back to back to the project at hand, but. As you can probably tell, that's just Gervasius's backyard. We have to get out on the east side of the mansion for it to count as the street. I guess the designers didn't anticipate that some of us would have an aversion to breaking windows. This is good. I've got him far enough out that other people can't bust my ghost, mm, so... Strange. I thought there was something there. Took him forever to settle down mm -hmm. from his first alert from the lock being picked. Did you all notice that? Mm -hmm. We need to be careful now, because we're about to get on the tile brush. means that if we accidentally make a stepping noise, <laughs> he is going to whirl around and we are going to be screwed. Well, just keep pushing him. I hear you there! There it was. I knew it. I knew it was going to happen. What's that? <laughs> Alright, probably behooves me to crouch now. Keep pushing him that way. He'll be all the way out soon enough. I should say we will be all the way out soon enough, and once we are, the mission will end. Beside him now. Let's see. Later. Good. And there it is, casing the joint. Perfect thief, not Supreme Ghost. Look at our stats. That took 56 minutes, 39 seconds. We found 2685 loot out of 2685. We picked 9 out of 9 pockets. That's just the ever-present Thief 2 bug. We picked 2 locks. No backstabs, no knockouts, no damage dealt or taken, no healing taken, nothing and no one killed, no iron beast disabled or destroyed, found 9 out of 9 secrets. Campaign totals, time so far, 15 hours, 37 minutes, 26 seconds. Loot so far, 26,114. We've dealt 9 damage, that's 8 knockouts in running interference, and 1 damage kidnapping Cavador, and we have received 0. That's it. We took several Supreme Busts. I did have to deactivate the turret, which was a Supreme Bust. I had to deactivate a wa couple of Watchers to get bits of loot. I took Supreme Busts opening doors to get a uh, 
pickpockets. And probably most profoundly, I took several Supreme Busts. I used two water arrows and two moss arrows to get the spice bags in the kitchen, but that, of course, was dealing with a glitch. However, that doesn't excuse it in the eyes of Supreme Ghosting, so that's a bust. And finally, took first alerts there in the foyer from passersby, from the guard I was nudging, when I picked open the door, when I accidentally made a stepping noise, and of course, I had to nudge the guard, which is in and of itself a supreme bust. But anyway, that's it. I will see you all next time for masks. Bye-bye.